Right, their grandfathers fought in the 28th Māori Battalion, Morris Douglas Bird and Parihaka Tōmuri Te Awa. But that's not the only thing that makes this pair special. Take some natural talent, add a dash of determination, then wrap it up in whānau support, and what have you got? A couple of cooking rookies who may become the world's first champion duo of MasterChef. <laughs> Maketu, Rongonui mo te maketu pai, te tōwhiti tipi, a koia hoki te unga tuatahi o te waka o te arawa. I nai nei, ko kārena rau ko Casey Bird hoki. Karina and Casey, you flew through Bali Week's first challenge. Ko ngā tamahine nei o ngā ti whakaue me ngā puhi te whakamāna watanga o maketu i nai nei. I think coming from a place like Makitu, we're so lucky that we have this sort of grounding and it's just got this special feel about it. <laughs> you know, being able to go down to the beach and get pippies and these fish and these, you know, fresh seafood, it's, yeah, it's a paradise for cooking. Growing up uh, in a Māori family, I think food is always at the centre of all your gathering. Kua kia e rāwa he kaitunu parapara tonu rāwa a ko te aroha nui ki te mahi kai i ahu mai tā rāwa noho tata ki tō rāwa māma. Are you guys the best cooks in your family? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, um, I think everyone has these specialties. Like our mum makes really, like, she's got her signature dishes which are really delicious. Āhua, i āhua o horere. Uh, engari ia wā ka mātaki mātou. Ahau, E kōrero atawhai e tau ai te puehu i te mura o te ahi. Hello for girls. Talofa. My lowest point in the show so far was probably the first challenge in Samoa. I'm not sure what it was, but I just, I really just felt all over the place. I didn't feel like myself. Yeah, I definitely agree. Even watching it back, I felt like, I was like, what are you doing? You know, who are you? You're so flustered and weird. I'm going to ask, what is with you today? I reckon you're off on your presentation today from what you normally are. I, I, I don't understand it. It's just like, to me, it's not you guys. You guys are normally all over this sort of thing. When I saw, saw them on, on the program and you saw everybody else and they were doing, going just great efforts to, dis, you know, to display it. And there's Cutting and Casey just putting it in the white par bowl. <laughs> Put a lime in there. And, and, um, but, you know, under the extreme conditions that they were in, you know, it was really hot. They were out of their comfort zone. I still thought they did, the, they did fantastic. Our family are not scared to tell us if they don't like something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're definitely our biggest critics. So, yeah. Facebook, Look, I was really hoping someone was going to do a take on a boiler, and yeah, I we, believe that's what you're doing. Yes, yeah. that is what we're doing. Well, so it's just an idea that we, already, we had already come up with. Um, the hangi actually happened uh, in the team challenge, and our team said that that would be a great idea, and we were actually quite apprehensive about doing it because we had just done the boil up challenge and then you know to do a hangi challenge if we didn't do it right we could have really got slated you know yeah. be like oh you know you guys one trick ponies doing all these dishes but yeah we've got two tricks <laughs> <laughs> Casey and Karina your take on a hangi was the highlight on a roller coaster ride of perfection 
I can't even put into words how proud I am of them. It's more important than like following their dreams and going after what they really want in life. For them being uh, these role models to like younger Māori children as well. Just because you're from a small community doesn't mean you can go out there and pursue your dreams. So yeah, I'm, that's, that's why I'm so proud of them. I don't think I'd be able to do it without Kat and I just, you know, I'm really shy and she's, you know, she's really headstrong and she's kind of the one who, um, you know, sticks up for us, but I'll kind of just sit there and be like, I don't know. <laughs> but I couldn't do it without her either because she's sort of like really grounding and, um, you know, just like, how did they get to bed? And I'll be like, okay, Casey, you know. <laughs> it's enough fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we'll come, we'll around. come around the front. Sundays and Mondays, everybody's, oh, did you see the girls last night? Oh, they did great. And oh, you know, you, you, you've got, you know, they've got another 3,000 critics, <laughs> you know, that, that, that follow their progress. Shock. Everybody is really, really impressed by what they're doing, and I would say that the community is really proud of them. So, um, I think before we went on the show, you sort of almost take it for granted. You don't realise how lucky you are. And then we go to Auckland and we have to spend $120 on a power. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? No wonder people don't eat this. What I enjoy most about cooking is probably the people you share it with and everyone is just so happy when they're having a great meal and if you make it, you kind of feel like, oh, you feel pretty cool. So mum likes to buy the dog quite nice food to eat and uh, we were quite hungry and there was this, like, this bag of brisket bones for the dog for dog the dog bones yeah <laughs> and then mum got home last night and we had made these like um slow cooked beef brisket burgers <laughs> she was like you guys are eating the dog food and we we're like well you didn't give us any human food <laughs> yeah <laughs> so no it's quite funny actually you can make something out of anything even dog food <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One can have a dream baby two can make that dream so oh, well, they got We've got heaps of new cousins now. <laughs> if it was my last meal, I'm not even sure if it would be about the food, but more who I was eating it with. Like it could be, I don't know, a slice of bread, but as long as I was eating it without, you know, my family, you know, my partner, that's all that really matters. But if I was eating by myself, <laughs> um, I think the last would probably the last thing I'd eat would probably have to be like a steak. A really good steak would be the last meal I had. Really? I think so. I yeah, I'd eat a steak. I actually think the last meal I would want would be a boil up. And I would want yeah, it with true. hey, it would. And you'd want it with like dough boys and like heaps of white bread with butter and you want brisket and pork bones and bacon bones in there. <laughs> Everything. And then, yeah, that's what I'd want. Just take two. Hei te pōne, ka tātā whāinga atu a Casey Rawa ko kārena ki ngā rōpū tūmau e rua anō ki a urua e ki te whiringa toa o te whakataitai tohunga tūmau e ki ane ko Master Chef. Nei rā te mihi māngari a marae ki a Rawa ki eke ai Rawa ki te taumata o angi tū, mā takitaki hea te ahu pēhea o te toko rua rā, hei te haurua i te whitu karaka i te pōne, hōngere tuatahi.